Welcome back to another episode of D-Ray's Garage, where today we're going to take a look at the new wrap on the Macan that you may have just noticed in the introduction. But I did want to talk today while I show in the background some of the procedure and uh, talk you through some of my thoughts. I want to talk a little bit about coatings, PPF, paint protection film, and wraps, and why I chose to go this path. Now, black cars, glossy black paint, and the Arizona desert are not good bedfellows. So for me, while the car was right, the color was not. So I had to basically scratch the itch that I've had for some time, which was to wrap a vehicle. But along that journey, you know, the consideration of, do I just give a full paint correction to the car, put a coating on it and hope to heck that it looks good. But the reality of the brutal, bright, blue skies, big bright sun, in Arizona is any imperfections will show and black paint is the worst for showing them and frankly extremely difficult to remediate. So for me correction and coatings was not the path. Now it would have been a skosh cheaper, again assuming I did it professionally, at probably about a thousand dollar price tag, maybe a little bit less, certainly less if I did it myself but a lot of time. The next two options are PPF and a wrap. Now, um, a wrap is typically, or vinyl wrap, is thinner than PPF in general. There are some thicker vinyl wraps, and there are some thinner and thicker PPFs. Paint protection films, overall, you're going to find PPF is a little bit thicker. Big, big, bigger protection, and probably the most important part is many of them, at least the modern ones, are self-healing. Um, obviously, there's only, uh, that only goes so far. So when the paint protection film bids I sought out were coming in on the Macan, it was anywhere from 3,500 to 7,500. Now I'll put an asterisk on that high-end one because that was a satin PPF, meaning a non-glossy one because I thought the car would look really cool in a black satin finish. Uh, but ultimately at uh, that price tag, that's just not gonna happen. And then the PPF, uh, frankly, if you put lay PPF over a car that's black paint for years, has swirls, you're gonna see swirls under a really nice layer of protection. So that didn't make sense. So that's how I landed on the wrap. Now, here in Arizona, I was getting bids generally $3,000 to $3,500 from the bigger shops. Uh, but I uh, was tooling around on Facebook and found this great guy, Tony, uh, down in Gilbert, Arizona. So if you are in the area, please look him up. He's an amazing guy. Did great work, very conscientious. And uh, the reason I was confident in his work and uh, making that selection, which was more like $1,500, was because I could, one, he had access to all the uh, high-end brands, 3M, Oracle, Avery Dennison, KPMF. And so he could get whatever vinyl I could get in any of these other stores. So the difference there was labor and obviously overhead. He works out of his garage. They work, um, uh, professionals in Scottsdale work out of big, spaces with fancy stuff in them. So um, when I found Tony, he was working on a Macan. So I got, went down and made sure, um, you know, basically checked out his skills, but also checked out his skills against the Macan, which gave me extra confidence knowing he'd wrapped not only cars, but that model of car or my model of car. So you put that all together and that's how we wound up uh, with the, uh, the car being wrapped by him. But even after you've navigated you know, do I do a coating? Do I do a PPF? Do I do a wrap? And what are the pros and cons? Then you gotta navigate the world of color. Now this one will keep you up at night, boys and girls, because there are thousands, just thousands upon thousands of colors, and then there's iridescent, and then there's just a variety of different hues and finishes. And I was really tempted to go down the path of the Samba Green Porsches that you see, um, on the streets that is a factory color. And then I also saw a cool satin metallic green on a GT Mercedes. And so I was really kind of charging towards that family. And then just for whatever reason, couldn't commit to a color there. And then I landed in the blue family. So now I think that's the, the trick is find a family of colors or find a color family and then march down that road. Select your finish and then go for a tint and a hue that you're interested in for your car. Now, um, what you'll see here is I went through a couple of different blues, um, certainly more so towards the matte and satin end of the spectrum, 
because I wanted that matte finish as well in addition to having a vinyl wrap. And as soon as I saw that matte Trenton blue from KPMF, that was it, I was sold. And uh, the, uh, the journey went on from there. So in a nutshell, that's it. Hopefully in the background, I've shown you enough pictures of the Macan that you've uh, stayed along for the ride here. And uh, let me know if you've changed your car color. Let me know if you like this color. And uh, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe at will. Be memorable, be well, and I do hope to see you on another video soon. Bye now.